As security hold a young man, sorry for the disconnection. They throw the young man to a Koi prison. They throw him to a Koi prison. Okay, I will mention the church now because there was good deed at the end. He said, while he was there for a good three years in a Koi prison, it was a Koi prison there for a good three years. I said, how this is true? I said, how true it is? You did nothing wrong. They just hold you the next thing from police station to court, from court to prison. He said, yes. He spent three years in prison there. He spent three years in prison. So, the day God remembered him to release him out of the prison. The day God remembered him and God wanted to release him out of that prison. He said, Pastor, he at was visiting Ikoi prison. And as he heard that the pastor is visiting, he was now screaming on top of his voice. He was his voice. I did nothing. And you people arrested me and put me in prison. So when Pastor Adeboye heard that voice, that the church put him in prison, he stood back, caught his attention, and he called the young man. He explained what happened. This was the story of the young man to me. He said it was Pastor Iya Deboye that now released him from that Ikoi prison that day. So for that purpose, he said he not to go church again. So you see some certain things. There are people who because of desperation, they have made themselves desperando. They are not acting drama using the word of God. Desperate of fame, Desperate of power, desperate of position, desperate of wet, now holding the word of God. To bring shame to the word of God, no. Every word of darkness must be destroyed. Let God be truth, and all men be liars. Those who justify the wicked for bribe, who take away justice from the righteous man, the Lord is saying, woe to you. Woe to that person. Woe to that person. You take justice away from a righteous man. And you not give the justice to a wicked man because of bribe. The Lord is saying, woe to you. Oh, you judge. Woe to you. Sorrow to you. Therefore, as the fire devours the stumble and the flames consume the chaff, so their root will be as rottenness and their blossom will be as sand like dust because they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One, the Lord God Almighty. God is saying, go to those who rejected him. Therefore, the anger of the Lord is arose against his people. He has stretched out his hand against them, has stricken them, and they heels trembled. Their carcasses were as refuse in the midst of the streets. For all these, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. He will lift up a banner to the nation from afar and will whistle to them from the end of the earth. Is the trumpet and blowing now whistle to the end of the earth? God has already programmed technology that will be used to whistle to the end of the earth, which is happening now in my generation, in our generation. 
He said, surely they shall come with speed swiftly. As you are hearing the word of truth. If you have God, you will hear my voice and you will listen. You will hear the word of God from my mouth, from my lips. The truth, and you will obey if you have God. But if you are created to go to hellfire, you will hear this, you will discard it, you will not listen. No one will be weary or stumble among them. No one will stumble, will slumber or sleep. Nor will the belt of their loins be loose, nor the strap of their sandals be broken. Whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent. Their horses' hoof will seem like fruit. Mm -hmm. Their heels like whirlwind. winged. Their roaring will be like a lion. They will roar like young lions. Yes, they will roar. When they roar, those who have God, that God wants to rescue their soul, they will hear the voice of the lion roaring in the streets of the earth. To hear that the earth has expired. The time, the day of the Lord is here. So when they roar like lion, the redeemed, the seed of God, who are in forest, they will hear. Let me give a story of a lion. As long as it says that those who now embrace God, they will roar like a lion. There is a story, heart rate is, you know, story can be either dream or imagination. There are some people who tell story as lie. In that little bit story or true life events. I don't know if it is imagination, if it is dream or life events but i will share this story regards to lion a certain time there was a hunter who will have a sheep farm as well he went to the forest and he met a baby lion which is young cub baby lion the mother of the lion the father or whoever was not there it was just the cub, the little baby lion alone. And the hunter took the baby lion. Let me use the word the baby lion uh, for, for sake of grammar, those who maybe do not understand the, the, the word young cub. Now, he took the baby lion to his farm poultry or whatever they call it. So he put the baby lion in the midst of the sheep. And the baby lion grew up in the midst of the sheep. All oh, the behavior of the baby lion, now he have matured, was like that of the sheep. Remember, sheep, the breed, that is their voice. But lion, he roar. Oh. Now, environment prints the life of that baby lion. Like a lot of us who allow Europe life to influence their life. <laughs> who allow modern world to influence their life negatively. The that baby lion grew up in France his life. So the baby lion was not behaving like sheep. Instead of baby lion to roar as a lion, it was not making noise like sheep because of the background environment he grew up from. On a certain day, as usual, they used to go to the stream to drink water. 
the mother lion came out of the forest as they were drinking water. Now the baby lion is not a mature lion. So all the sheep fled away at the fear of the mother lion. At the fear of the Lord, the God, the, tongue, the voice of God is upon many waters. The voice of God sounds like thunder. The voice of God put down rocks and mountains. At the sight of the mother lion, all the sheep fled, including the baby lion who is now mature, also fled. But he saw the mother lion. On the second day, they also went as usual to drink water. Now the mother lion, as usual, came out of the forest. Because this baby lion who have matured has saw the identity of the mother lion, the resemblance in both of them. As all the sheep fled, he stood by. All the sheep fled away, but he stood back. The mother lion looked at the baby lion that is now a grown-up lion. Now. The mother lion roared as a lion. The baby lion make noise like sheep. <laughs> the mother lion saw the environment have friends. This lion, but he have not influenced your DNA. No matter how the modern world, the Western world, influence your way of reasoning, it does not change your blood. It does not influence your DNA. Now you go sit down tick, then you will discover your real roots, your real identity. The reason why you are still living a worldly life is because you are yet to sit down to think, to discover your real identity. The reason why you're naked in the streets is because you have not known you have lost your identity until you sit down and think. The mother lion roared the second time. The baby lion make noise. Now the mother lion roared the third time. There is what you call DNA, something that is in you, is inside you. There are things that will trigger is to wake up. The word you are hearing now will trigger that gift of God in your life for you to follow righteousness and holiness. No more worldly lifestyle again. It triggers the lion in the baby lion. And the baby lion, wow, as a lion, now I have come alive. The DNA in me as a lion has come. The mother lion shake. Yes. You have discovered your identity. The mother lion turned to the forest. The baby lion, he look at the tent. You look at the behavior of the Western world. You look the behavior of what they call modernization. And you look at the old ways. The the old path, the holy way. Then he said, I don't belong to this place that I've been for years. This old path, the holy way, this is where I belong. I belong to this place. I belong here. This is where I belong. The baby lion followed the mother lion. And enter the forest. If you have nothing that will trigger the real you in you to come out, you begin to live like those who live a worldly life, die in worldliness. Because knowledge is lacking, ignorance is working. They will roar like long, young lions. Yes, they will roar. And lay hold of the prey, they will carry it away safely. And no one will deliver in that day. They will roar against them like the roaring of the sea. And if one looks to the land, behold, darkness and sorrow and the light 
is darkened by the crowd. The truth you reject today, you will look for it tomorrow. The wisdom you refuse to accept today, tomorrow you will look for it. The words I speak, they are wisdom, words of wisdom. And it is not my words. They are words of eternal life. And the world will only profit those who obey it. To them that refuse to obey. The world will stand as judgment and condemnation. Because you had, you refuse to obey the voice of the Almighty. The Holy One. The Lord God. The living God. The same Isaiah 28. From verse 1 to 10. Woe to the crown of pride. To the drunkards. Whose glorious beauty is fading. Flower. Which is at the head of the verdant valleys. To those who are overcome with wine. You were a God don't become your inheritance. God is saying, woe to you. Repent fast. Repent fast. Behold the Lord as a mighty and strong one. Like a tempest of hail and a destroying storm. Like a flood of mighty waters overflowing. Who will bring them down to the earth with his hand? The crown of pride, the drunkard, will be trampled underfoot. And the glorious beauty is a fading flower, which is at the head of the Vedant Valley, like the first fruit before the summer, which are over which are unobserved seeds. He eats it up. Why it is still in his hand. In that day, the Lord of hosts will be a crown of glory and a day of beauty to the remnant of his people, those who obey, or follow his word. For a spirit of justice to him who sit in judgment, and for strength to those who turn back the battle at the gates. But they also have air through wine and through intoxicated drink and out of the way. The prince and the prophet have air through intoxicated drink. They air in vision, giving vision that are fake that God did not give. They stumble in judgment, but all tables are full of vomit and feet. No place is clean. Who will he teach knowledge? And who will he make to understand the message? Those just weaned from milk. Those just drawn from the breast. The same Isaiah 30, verse 20 and 21. For the terrible one is brought. Isaiah 30, verse 20 and 21. He said, And though the Lord gives you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teachers. Yet, your teachers, yet, the Lord is saying, your teachers, your teachers, 
This is the duty, the assignment of the preachers to preach the truth to the people. Yet the teachers will not be moved into a corner anymore. But your eyes shall see your teachers. Your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. So you see the duty of preachers. Anyone that is not preaching the truth, na businessman, na him be. They use your soul till they cash out, destroying your soul. They use your soul till they, they cruise, they make name, they make fame. It is dangerous. It is disastrous. It is wickedness to hide the truth away from the children of God without telling them the truth that will save their soul. It is wickedness. It is high level of wickedness that makes you hide the truth away from God. The same Isaiah 48 verse 16 to 19. Come here to me, hear this, I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, I was there, and now the Lord God and His Spirit have sent me. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One, the only true living God. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you to profit. Who lead you by the way you should go? Oh, that you had heeded my commandments. I wish you listen. That your brother, when you they, they regret, they cry. Oh, my brother, when don't you die for sin like that? Mm -hmm. My sister, when don't you die for sin like that? Why? Mm -hmm. I wish you listen. Hi. I'll be the one I know here. But the shall follow and on here. I wish he listen. This is what the Lord is saying here now. He said, Would you have heeded my commandment? Then your peace would have been like a river, and your righteousness like the wave of the sea. But you refuse to listen to his commandment. Your descendant also would have been like the sand and the offspring of your body like the grains of sand. His name would have not been cut off, nor destroyed from before me. You refuse to listen to the word of God to obey. Your name will be cut off unless you listen and obey. There is book of life. There is book of record. The book of record. Record every of our lifestyle on earth. There is a sign angel of the law to every man to keep record of their life. As you are watching me, hearing me now, the angel is keeping record of your life, of my life, of this day that you are hearing the truth. But you choose to pay hard in heart, deaf ear, not to hear and obey. There is a book. So anybody whose work is not good while sojourning on this earth, their name is removed from the book of life. So to those who live life on this earth to please their God, their names are in the book of life. Psalm 19 verse 12 says, Who is that man that can understand his errors? Cleanse me from every secret works. The reason why many walk in error is because of ignorance. 
when you are ignorant of a thing, you begin to work in error towards that thing. For instance, you have money in your account or in your wallet, but you are not aware. You are ignorant that you have money. So long you are ignorant, so <clears throat> ignorance <throat> that I am not aware that I have this money, you will turn to a beggar. You begin to beg, asking, begging people, oh, please, can you help me with some money? Can you help me with some change? I have nothing at all with me. Please, can you help me? Well, okay, as wait, you brother. have I play for money you a on a beautiful, beautiful that song. That is what ignorance can do to someone. Anyone that is ignorant of the truth, when he cross this edge, when he die, it will be a declare. Hello, brother. Good morning. So the hidden truth. So that you, there is no more to do because you have heard the word of truth. Psalm 82, verse 3 to 7. He said, Defend the poor, defend the poor. God defended the rich. That is the oh, wickedness oh, in this world. Like our, um, you defend the rich because they have something to offer you. But the poor will press them. I'll show you one something. thing. There is God! Yeah, we'll let them Songs, yeah, told our boss, though, is Behind them! They are God! You defend the rich because they have money, they have wealth. You oppress the poor. Repent now. Otherwise, the owner of your life will take you to rest. I don't my life. You don't owe your life. You and I, we don't owe this earth. We are just sojourner. We are not even caretaker. You misbehave with your life. The owner will come for you no to Message per link. Therefore, repent now. Okay, brother. Before the owner will come at your door to request for his own property. When you give your car to someone to use, okay, six. I am not there, I am not around for now. Since I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Europe, okay, in Africa, this is my house, may you the live for inside my car, the user. So you now make you the owner. Tell you say, I dash you, I will dash you. So me the user first. That's so what I give you. So when you now have a receiving a report, you now see that the person is misusing the car, the house. It's misusing it. You are the owner. And you give the person no time to come from those kind of life that does not go well. Repent. And the person refuses. The next thing that will come for you to do with your action, your next action to take, is to come and collect that thing from the person. That is how our life is here on earth. That is how our life on earth is if you are using your life to do evil god is giving you long time to repent if you refuse to repent then the lord will come and take his property which is the life you are living it is not your own you are not a caretaker just a sojourner that is what we are don't be full of yourself to defend the wish to oppress the know. Lord is saying here, defend the poor, defend the fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and needy. Defend the poor, defend the fatherless. Don't be the poor or the fatherless when go commit crime. No, the innocent one. Don't be the one when the guilty. You are not to defend because the person is poor and is guilty. You are to, no, you don't defend who is guilty. Because it's poor for beauty. No, you don't defend such person. You face your punishment. You should have known that you are poor. Not to do what is wrong. Fatherless defend you when you are guilty. No, 
you are known that you have no father to do what is right. So when God speaks, he speaks positive, not negative. So God will say, oh, he said defend the poor. Now you are poor. You won't be looking for trouble. God will defend you. You will face the trouble all by yourself. This is about our God. Defend the poor, defend the father. Do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and the needy. Free them from the hand of the wicked ones. They do not know this is where the problem lies. They do not know ignorance. Come out of the ignorance. They do not know. No, they understand. They walk about in darkness. All the foundation of the earth are unstable. He said, You are God. And all of you are children of the Most High. God, you shall die like men, fall like one of the princes because of ignorance. The cure for it is what you are receiving now. In case you have been ignorant for years, serving the lust of this world, fulfilling the lust of this world. God will take it as ignorance. Acts 17 30. The days of ignorance, the time of ignorance, God will value for now. He's commanded everyone to repent. Everything. All the time has come. Psalm 105, verse 12 to 20. Talking about the man Joseph. He said, when they were few in number, the Israelites of old, modernization had changed the country today. Those who through God, whom, through, whom God through them, showed mercy upon the earth, upon humanity, mankind. It was they that rejected God. They were the one who first knew God, the true God, mm-hmm. discovered the true God. But when they rejected God, God said, No, the now mercy by... I will spread it across to Gigi. those who don't even know me before. He's come he mute. Reveal himself He's come mute to those who have not known him before. Mm. Indeed, very few are strangers. Okay? When they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people. God, God when some businessmen carry me to say that the pastor the Bible, they will say, Push, not that's a Prophets know how. Moreover, he called the time the Lord. He destroyed all the provision of bread. He sent the man before them. His name was Joseph. Who was so free? I mean, this country is not by me. You are in this country, it's not by me. Wherever country you are, it's not by me. What a prophet. Discover that for you. Walking in line with God's instruction, not your own or human instruction. <coughs> the heart is filled with fetters. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Until the time that his work came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. 
Wow, 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 ça m'a eu qui est dans la vidéo. C'est la GTR de Brian et rejoignez la famille Fast and Furious. Premier numéro pour seulement 50 centimes d'euros. Abonnez-vous maintenant et recevez chez vous des numéros tous les mois. Bénéficiez également du paiement sécurisé et de cadeaux exclusifs. Vous pouvez vous abonner sur Ataya.fr. Teachers of wisdom. Teachers of the wisdom. Not be everybody gets the. I told you I did. Those key message I didn't hear. Not everyone. 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 अनमोल जी वेलकम सॉरी मैंने आपकी मैसेज नहीं देखी You need me, lady. There is no God put in me. Is it the God? No, for the kingdom of God. What God put in me is what I'm using now. Stop using your own. Profit you nothing, rather than to go to hell and perish there. You must discover that God has put in you. And do it for God. So we round up with Jeremiah Tiri. Round it up with Jeremiah Tiri. Then the Lord said, "Backsliding." People are told me there is no righteousness. Treasure is there. The God who said this bread will be yours. Return. Return. You have backslid from the way of truth, from the way of life. Return. Now that you still have opportunity, he said, "If you do, the Lord says, I will not cause my anger to fall on you to repent now. He will not call his anger his wrath." Is it ignition? I have asked him. What is your birthday? No, he has not said that. He said, "I have been given a birthday. I will not remain angry forever. Only knowledge of you. Anyway, my last birthday. I have been given a birthday. I have been given a birthday. Acknowledge your sin and repent. Then prove his stubbornness. Hello. Now let your sin and repent. Welcome, Malaksa. Welcome. Ask God for mercy. Then He will not poison you. His rod, His invitation upon you, because the earth have expired. Malaksa, good morning. I have sounded the trumpet as a watchman among thousands. Yeah, I mean, in such me, na, I mean, Anmolji, ye. Yeah, the voice. Yeah, na, our house pe ho, our sab matlab judna matlab. For the time. Arey, ye kahan gaya? Ye to. Of the wrath of God. To be poured out upon the earth has come. That you have transgressed, acknowledge those your iniquity and transgressions against the Lord your God, and you have scattered the charms. Juju man, juju woman. Alhamdulillah, boy. Those your charms, throw them away. Take care. आपका क्या हाल है? Only your soul they destroy. Ah, you thought ah the thing they give me food for table now, the thing they give me they pay where well, they pay where well. it not pay you anything. Now your soul now they destroy it doesn't pay you anything. Juju man, juju woman, drop those things. It does not pay. It is only helping your flesh and destroying your soul. And your flesh will live on earth for a short time, but your soul. 
will live forever. So if you do not repent, the soul will perish in hell, in torment, in agony, in anguish, in pain, in sorrow, forever and ever. But when you repent <clears throat> and embrace the way of light, the way of truth, the Lord God Almighty, and receive Jesus Christ into your life. Then you will rejoice in rapture with Jesus Christ. Forever and ever. So scatter those your chance. Throw them away. Your deities. Throw them away. And obey the voice of the Lord your God. Return, O backslider children. Says the Lord. For I am married to you. The Lord who created you. He went into the deepest place of the earth and he wonderfully and fearfully created you to this earth. When you were young, you knew nothing. Now in the grown up, you were having little sense. You begin to see scientists. Philosophers. Oh, everything came into existence by itself. They all came, they all came, they all came by themselves. It's natural, it's normal. But yes, you are saying you are the one who invents things. So why did you not claim things you invent to yourself? Why don't you say these things came by yourself? Be wise. Get understanding. The Lord is asking you, telling you now to return because He's married to you, is the one who Lekin created the soul. Rat Kid of darkness, not there anything in the creature. And which God will create, and they possess, they operate. As if not they create, they create nothing. He said, I will take you. I think that life is a lot of family. And I will bring you to Zion. In a family, there are some souls that will be condemned. There are some family, only two, only one. It is prophecy. So pray that any wrong prophecy, evil prophecy, will not fulfill in your own head. This is my prayer every day. <clears throat> my sons every day. Father, draw me near us. Draw me near us. <coughs> My prayer every day. Draw and I will give you shepherds, teachers, pastors, according to my heart. This generation, many hold Bible, but not according to the will of God. The shepherds, the teachers, the pastors I give to you according to my own heart. Their duty is to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Understanding of what? Is it worldly life? Understanding of worldliness, dirtiness. Or cleanliness, no understanding of the truth, understanding of the light. They will feed you with the knowledge of truth, with what I'm doing since. This is what God called those who are my brava. So, to those who are interested in you know, they, do, they did what they are doing for their stomach's sake, they are businessmen. Business women. So, this is New Year. This is first Sunday of the month. This is January. Now this word now is for those who want to follow the way of Christ, the truth. Don't let anybody deceive you again. Come, I so see to pray prayer for you, for you to receive this and receive that. No, God does not extend gifts to answer your prayer. You can't imagine. Come and sow seed. I will pray for you. That miracle child, baby, you have been looking for will come. That miracle marriage will come. That sickness will go. Come and sow seed. All those are a bunch of criminals. Know them by their fruits. In all this world, you have been hearing the word of wisdom. 
knowledge <clears throat> you have to understand them so that no one will be able to deceive you again no one will be able to cheat you again this is what i have and i want to round up with the book of malachi the book of malachi there is something that one need to hear here not be the titan offering you always hear here titan offering bring titan offering enough of your titan office offering message stop being robbing people indirectly preach the truth drop a bad message of titan offering this is not the message giving is willingly those who have you have taught the truth who you teach the way of truth if there's any need in the church they will bring their money don't stop robbing them Stop being a robber. Heaping up wet for yourself. Heaping up treasure for yourself on air where thief. We broke in. Frost us. We break in. I snatch away. But you have no treasure in heaven. It's an error. Malachi 3 from verse 16. A book of remembrance. It's called book of chronicle. Will be open soon. You that is preaching tight in Malachi, repent fast. Don't be tight in the day again. The earth has expired. Then those who fear the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord listened and heard them. So a book, Malachi 3 verse 16, I'm not reading the area of tight. In case your mind has been set up, I want to read tight to destroy your business. No fear. I know they read that place. Uh, it's between you and your God. If the people know the truth, you're not going to feel deceive them again. So no fear. A book of remembrance was written before him. For those who fear the Lord and who meditate on his name, they shall be mine, says the Lord. This is the same book of Malachi where a lot of preachers have been focusing only tight. Only tight. Only tight. Says the Lord. Of host on the day that I will make my joys and I will spare them. Who is he going to spare? Is it those who pay tithe and offering that is not obedience to God's word? Is it those who pay tithe and offering that did not repent? Is it those paying tithe and offering whose heart are still dirty, full of dead men bulls doing evil? No. It is those who fear the Lord. Those who meditate on his name. They are the one that God Almighty will spare their soul. He said, I will spare them as a man spare his own son who serve him. Then you shall again decide between the righteous and the wicked. Between one who serve God in spirit and in truth, in fear, in trembling. Not because you want to make money, not because you want to make fame, not because you want position. No. Between one who serve God and one who does not serve him. So, you may say, everybody went the whole Bible and I got it. Between one who said, that day you will know, if not God, you deserve. That day you will know, if not God, you deserve. The difference, the difference will be seen. Will be seen. The difference will be clear. The difference will be clear. That day, the difference will be seen. Malachi 4. Don't be only tight, dear dear. From verse 1. For behold, the day is coming. That is why I'm sounding the alarm, the trumpet. So that you will not be unaware. That day that is coming, burning like an oven. And all the proud, all who do wickedly, will be stumbled. And the day which is coming shall burn them up. 
says the Lord of hosts. Hear the word of God. But to you who fear my name, ask yourself a question. Do you fear the name of the Lord? Do I fear the name of the Lord? To whom who fear my name, the son of righteousness shall rise. We heal him in his wind, and you shall go out and grow far like stall fed caves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the sole of your feet. On the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Now he said, remember the law of his servant as you are hearing the word tonight. And I, the Lord is commanding you to keep his touches and his judgment. The Lord has commanded you. The Lord has commanded you to keep his statutes and his judgment. The day of the Lord. You have heard all the Lord instructed me to pass out to those who are ready to be saved from the danger of condemnation that is awaiting the earth. The danger of condemnation that is looming the earth. You have heard the word. Now, put your hand in your chest and pray after me. That is not repentance. That is another ignorance a lot of preachers do. After they preach, they tell you, now you want to surrender, come out, put your hand in your chest, pray after me, Lord Jesus. I surrender my heart to you. I confess to you that I'm a sinner. Forgive me all my sin. Now I know I'm born again. I'm a new creature. All things have passed away. All things that become new. Thank you for receiving me to your kingdom. Thank you for accepting me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I'm born again. <laughs> that is not repentance. You are the one helping the person in the confession. It's not the person that have come to make confession. It's not something... It's the person that will voluntarily say, Yes, now surrender. You don't need to make the prayer. In your heart, the sins you know you are committing. And the Holy Ghost has convinced you of that sin. Begin to confess then. I should not be the one doing the prayer. You are convinced. The Holy Spirit have convinced you of that sin. Then what do you do? Oh Lord, by yourself, make the prayer. Oh, what of if I don't know how to pray? The only thing I will let you know is when you're true with your prayer, then say in the name of Jesus Christ. If you have not heard the name before. But to you who have been in church, you have been hearing the name, but you are still living in sin. You are to be convinced in your sin, in your heart of that sin, the spirit convinced you of. You fornicator. I say, fornicator, if I die now, where will I go? If I die today, where will my soul rest? Will it have rest for my soul? No, there is no rest for sinner that die in their sin. Then you begin to make allowance in your heart. Oh Lord, I am guilty of this sin. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Mercy, Father. Mercy. I was walking in my ignorance. I did not know what I was doing. But now you have convinced me by your spirit of my sins. I've surrendered all to you. I repent never to go back again. You are the one making this confession. Not man making it for you. That is why you see people week by week. When pastor call, altar call, you know you want to surrender your life to Christ, come out. Week by week they come out. Because the pastor helped it, help it then to make confession. They are not convinced. You make confession, confession 
by the conviction that the Holy Spirit has convinced you that you are guilty of this. The pastor did when they follow that woman, they, they run show, they sleep with the woman when they're married. So why can't they give you the prayer when you go to do? You are the one that is guilty. You are the one living in that sin. So you are the one to be convinced, pray the prayer. Because your own sin, they're different from another person. So your own when they're guilty of. Confess them. Confess them. This is what the Lord wants. Rest my case here. And I pray that those who have heard the word and who will still hear the word, that the word will rest in their heart. The Holy Ghost will help them through the word to overcome powers of darkness, to overcome every ignorance and not to be deceived again. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let your word be sealed. The heart of every hearer, the heart of every heart that will hear the word. Now or later, let the word be seen in their heart. Let the word, O oh Lord, bring change, a transformation. If anyone is in you, Lord Jesus Christ, is a new creation. Mm. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Let the word, O oh Lord, bring newness of life. To those who have deviated from your way, to those who have not known you, let light shine upon them. Let your glory be seen in their life. Let their life reflect your glory. Let their life be patterned according to your way. Those who are believing in worldliness, those who are still holding your word, but living a worldly life. Lord, the word they have heard tonight, let it point the light to the darkness in their life. And deliver them from that bondage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those believing you for healing, for restoration, for breakthrough, as they surrender all to you, Lord, let there be healing. Let there be deliverance as they surrender to you, Lord. Let there be restoration as they surrender to you. As they surrender to you totally, Lord. Let light shine upon them. Let your glory be seen in their life. Those believing in you, O oh Lord, how long will I continue to suffer doing this business without profit? As they surrender to you tonight, totally, visit their life, visit their business, visit their marriage, visit them, O oh Lord. As many believe in you, Lord, I am no longer young, age is no longer on my side, I want to marry as they surrender totally to you, Lord, visit them because it is written. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the law and read. And none of these things shall fail. My mouth has spoken it, and my spirit gathered them. And none shall want her made. O oh Lord, my God. As many believe in you for marital settlement. As they humble their heart to submit, to surrender to you totally. Visit them with their life partner. In the name of Jesus Christ. The care of this world. What to eat, what to drink. The anxiety of this world. Will not snatch them away from your hand, from your kingdom any longer. In the name of Jesus Christ. As many in the heart of ignorance have been running after prophecy, running after miracle signs and wonder because of ignorance, let the light of the knowledge of truth that have shined for tonight shine upon their heart, shine upon their life. And those things that make them run after prophecy, miracle signs and wonder, Lord, as they surrender totally to you, Lord, visit them with those things and release them into their hand. In the name of of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' glorious name. Praise God. Please, the room is open. If you have questions that you want to ask, feel free to ask your question. Anyone who have question, you are free, free to ask your question. 
question question connect if you have question feel free to ask your question I'm still waiting. If there is anyone who have question, they want to ask. The room is open. Ask your question. If there is anything you did not understand. Feel free to ask your question before I hang up. Okay, let me go to the comment section if there is any question. Question, the room is open if you have a question. Mm -hmm. Question, 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 question. This is my letter to you. Guys of the world, I drop it at the comment section. Drawing, I will come. Lord, my God, oh, I. 